International Women's Day is an opportunity to recognise and celebrate the tremendous achievements of women and girls around the world, but also to consider how we accelerate the further change needed to build a better and more equitable future. The theme this year is Changing Climates, Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow. And when we think about sustainability, we often focus on the planet, but our future sustainability also depends on us building a society that empowers women and girls and offers them the chance to deliver to their full potential. Now, four months ago, I attended the United Nations Climate Change Conference COP26 in Glasgow. And what was striking was how far the debate on climate change had advanced beyond whether there's a need to act and yet how much further we still need to go to reach our required destination. That's something that's just as applicable to the topic of gender equality. While the need for urgent widespread action to mitigate further climate change and manage the impacts of existing change is now broadly accepted and there's a growing impotence behind delivering it, the same cannot be said for gender equality. According to the World Economic Forum's most recent Global Gender Gap report, another generation of women will have to wait for gender parity, which will now not be attained for 135 years, up from 99 years in 2020, as some of the hard-won gains have been eroded by the COVID-19 pandemic. And yet, overcoming gender inequality is critical to overcoming the broader challenges we face as a society, including climate change. Talking with clients, partners, colleagues and governments in Glasgow, we agreed that the answer to climate change does not lie in off-the-shelf solutions. If it did, we'd have made much more progress well before now. Instead, this key challenge of our generation requires the imagination, ideas and innovation that emerge when you bring together diversity of thought. Without equal representation of women in the development and implementation of solutions to this and other issues, we are restricting our scope of ideas from the outset. Now, as a services business at Macquarie, we've long recognised the importance of a diverse workforce and view it as one of our greatest strengths. Having an inclusive and equitable workplace enables us to deliver more innovative, sustainable solutions for our people, for our clients, our shareholders and our communities. Now, we understand also that not everyone has the same starting point or journey to get to where they're going and we work hard to embrace a culture of equity, one that starts understanding the barriers that people face and provides support in breaking them down, allowing them each to reach their full potential. That's why we actively participate in women's sponsorship, mentoring and networking programs around the world, have established and participate in initiatives to inspire and educate women and girls about the many opportunities that can come from a career in finance and are committed to balanced hiring in our intern and graduate programs. So when we look at the future growth areas, also like technology and the green energy transition, the gender balance challenge is even greater. This means there's more work to do to equip women with the skills needed for jobs in these areas and to support them in those roles, including by showcasing the great opportunities that can come from studying STEM subjects. So as we look to pursue equality today for a sustainable tomorrow, just as the world's nations and companies are coming together to devise creative solutions to tackle climate change, Building a resilient future society and dynamic future economy requires us to do the same for those barriers encumbering gender equality. Empowering all people to achieve their full potential will not only drive the best outcomes to climate change, but to a broad range of societal issues.